Okay, today we're going to talk about how to set a beat on an anniversary clock. Now, it's fairly easy. Before, it used to be real time-consuming. You had to use a stopwatch, and it made a little piece of paper so you can tell the distance as it moves back and forth. But there is an easier way. Now, I belong to the 400-Day Clock Club as part of the NAWCC, and this information was in one of the bulletins. So, what, what we're going to do is... These clocks make a clicking sound as, as the verge rocks back and forth. It'll click one way, and then when it runs back, it'll click the other way. The clicks is what we want to, to uh, look out for. Also, you got to make sure that you're not touching anything. The pendulum should be free swinging. There's a little cup on the bottom. It can't touch the edge. So <clears throat> what we do is it's set, and I'm going to turn it. Now, I heard a click. The verge... Uh, went this way and it clicked. I'm going to release it. And I didn't hear a click. Let's go a little further. Let me try it again. Click. Click. So now I have to watch. Try it one way again. Till it, till it, till it verge moves. And the escape wheel clicks. There it is. That's one click. I'll leave it right there and I'm going to release it. There's the other click. Now it went too far. You see it clicked and it, it had overswing. So that means I'm, uh, uh, I have to, let's try it again. Click. Click. It went too far. So now I have to adjust it right here. So I have to turn this back a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's try it again. Click. Wait, it comes back around. Click. Still has a little overswing. Let's let it go back the other way again. Click, catch it right there, release it again, click, it's getting closer, release it again, click, it should not go past, it should end right on the click. 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 All right, now it should be in beat now, so I'll make it a full turn now. And I'll release it here. Now it should have overswing. Click, and it swings past. Let's go back the other way. Click. You can see it swing past. You have to have an overswing. If it doesn't maintain an overswing, the clock won't work. Um, now, this clock I never cleaned. I, this is the way I got it. I bought it at a garage sale. And the suspension spring, I don't know if you can see this on here, was bent. So I put a new suspension spring, put the blocks and everything back on again. Made sure I'm not touching anything. You can see it goes back and forth. Click. There's my overswing. Now, I, I, this clock is going to run. Now, as for setting the time, it's difficult because you can start these clocks, and if they don't work, it'll run for almost 15 minutes just, just uh, with the weight of the, of the pendulums. But what I have here, and I'll bring the camera up, is this is a Timetrex beat indicator. And I've been dinking around with it here a little while, but uh, I can set the the set this clock, and it should be 480 beats a minute. That's what these clocks are supposed to work at. Uh, now I've been since I bumped it a few times, it's changed, but it was at 481 beats a minute. So it, it tells me it's going to be just a tiny bit fast. So that's easy to adjust out. And also these clocks, they know they run for a year, but as the spring unwinds, they lose power. 
So they recommend you wind it once a month rather than once a year. But it will run for a year, and uh, but it won't keep a good time. So if you wind it once a month, it'll keep pretty good time. And that's about all I have right now. Um, if you have any questions, just write to me.